Are y'all ready to see a bunch of different types of monocle cobras? Still cleaning day. Had to change my shirt because I was burning up in the other one, sweating. But we're going to look at all types of monocle cobras. Different mutations. One that's normal. So I hope you're ready. Subscribe if you're new. Click the bell notification because I post a ton. If you love snakes, you're going to love it here. All right. Let's get to it. But before we begin, remember, I'm a professional. Don't attempt anything you see. Just watch. Just enjoy. Love you all. Like I mentioned, this video is going to be all about the monocle cobra, showing some different morphs, mutations, different colors. So like albino, leucistic, melanistic. This is Lila, the monocle cobra. First, I'm going to go over just some general things about monocle cobras. There are species found in South Southeast Asia. Scientific name, Naja Kyuthia. Now the average length of adults would be around four to five feet. But if you've been on my page, you've seen those massive albino ones, close to six feet long. Well, some adults can even reach seven feet or even a little bit more. It's incredible. Now the female albino, which you'll see later, is the largest, longest monocle cobra I've ever worked with. Now monocle cobras being an elapid, so think about vipers. Vipers, elapids, they both front, front fanged venomous snakes. The vipers have those long hinge-like fangs. Elapids, they have short fixed fangs, very tiny. Can't even really see it. The gum is kind of covering it. They're so small. So her being in Lapid, she has those tiny front fixed fangs. Now the reason I'm starting with Lila is she is as close to a wild type that I have. What do I mean by that? This is what monocle cobras can look like out in the wild. But they can look slightly different too. They can be a little bit darker. They can be a little lighter. They can have more of those little bands. They can have no bands at all. Isn't that incredible? But yeah, there's some variation in color. And the reason they get that monocle cobra, that common name, is because of the pattern on the back of that hood. A little circle. Looks like a monocle. That being said, some, even out in the wild, that circle doesn't have to be a perfect circle. It can be broken. Kind of looks like an Indian cobra almost. So not connected. Awesome, right? Now, you know, I mentioned the front fixed fangs. And you know, there's some cobras that are spitting cobras. Their teeth are adapted and modified for spitting, for defense. The monocle cobra has slight modifications. So they can spit, they sort of like fling it. Not as accurate as a spitting cobra. And not all of them have a tendency to do this. So I haven't had one monocle cobra out of the hundreds I've worked with that have ever done this behavior, spitting behavior, flinging it. Chinese cobra is another example, Naja Atra. They have slight modifications too. I have a pair of them. The male has never done it. Female does. When she's in the enclosure, when she strikes, there's venom on the glass, even if she's not hitting the glass. So she has a tendency to do that, but the male has never done it. And if you want an example of this, there's someone named David, David Speed. There's a clip of him getting spit on by a monocle cobra. So check it out. But yeah, Lila the monocle cobra. Beautiful, beautiful angel. Now we're gonna move on to the next one and talk about some things about that one. How does that sound? This will be the first mutant So if you know about snakes, you know ball pythons, but very common pet snake. You've probably heard of the term morphs, mutations, genetic mutations that, you know, different colors, all types of colors, leucistic, um, albino, all those things are different morphs. Monocle cobras are like that, the ball python of the cobra world. People have bred them to have express so many different types of mutations. So there's lots of different ones. I'm not the best or smartest with mutations or different types of morphs. 
but I'm gonna do my best in this video. This one is one I produced and it actually, the parents, which I'm gonna show you, I don't have them anymore, but I thought they were something called a Sufan Cobra. Now, Sufan Cobra is a naturally occurring monocle cobra found in the Sufan Bari province, and they are white, almost like a naturally occurring leucistic morph of the monocle cobra. The parents, as you can see, very white. That's why I thought they were Sioux fans. That's what I told they were. That's what I was told they were. Couldn't even say that. All the babies look different. But comes to find out, one of the biggest breeders of monocle cobras and all the different types of morphs messaged me saying that they are not Sioux fans. But this is a baby produced from those parents. I don't know what type of morph this is. Here's a picture of all of the babies together. You can see they're all different. There's even one albino. But yeah, that's why this one's next. Because I thought it was a naturally occurring type. At least the parents. No idea. Beautiful regardless. Look at it. Orange. The circle, the monocle pattern on the back is like a square. How about we move on to the next one, huh? Huh? Next, we have this beautiful leucistic monocle cobra. How awesome. Thanks to my friend Tyler for allowing me to borrow her again. Now, just like I mentioned in the last, the last cobra, the parents I believed were um, Sufan cobras. And I told you they're like naturally occurring leucistic monocle cobras. This is an actual leucistic monocle cobra. Now, right now, this snake is kind of pinkish. It appears pink. But as it ages and sheds, it becomes more white. Now, leucistic is a genetic mutation which inhibits the production of melanin and other pigments from being deposited on the scales. Melanin, for instance, is dark, dark brown to black pigment. So with the lack of that being produced and being deposited on the scales is what gives it its pale coloration, lack of color. Awesome. Now I'll tell you a little difference about this one and albino when I move on to the albinos. But how beautiful is this snake? Leucistic monocle cobra. Incredible. Up next is this beautiful baby albino monocle cobra. Hopefully I don't forget all the words in the Hopefully I don't forget to speak. We're not off to a good start. Last time I had this out, couldn't speak at all. Forgot all words. And thanks again to Tyler for allowing me to borrow this, this little guy. Look at how cute. But albino, let's talk about it. So albino is a complete absence of the melanin. That's why even the eyes, you see the pink eyes with the, with the albino, but not with the leucistic. Amazing. But look how cute this is. Now, like I said, I don't know much about mutations and genetic mutations or anything like that. So that's about as much as I know. But how adorable. This is by far my favorite animal. Baby cobras, to me, are the cutest. Look at this. Now, we'll move on to the bigger albinos. What do you say? And finally, the largest of them all. Y'all ready? The female albino monocle cobra. Look at how big she is. She's in shed again, getting bigger. This is the largest monocle cobra I've worked with in general. She's got to be six feet plus. Or right around six feet. I don't know, I'm bad at guessing, guessing length, but she's massive. 
How incredible is this? Look at her tickling my armpit. Now for the melanistic monocle cobra, I'm about to show this footage and pictures of the one that I used to have. I gave it away, so I no longer have it, but melanistic is increased amount of black or nearly black pigmentation. That's why these are much darker. If you've seen my Western Diamondback that's melanistic, much darker than the normal type. And they can even be fully black. Now I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. And again, subscribe if you're new. Click that notification bell. I post constantly. You'll see a lot of snakes here. But yeah, love you all so much. I'll be back soon. As usual, big shout out to my channel members. Jessica, Todd, Ralph, Damien, Tom, Ryan, Harper, Robin, Austin, Deb Deb, Mr. Kipling, and Mike. Thank you so much. Love you all.